it's Trina and this is going to be a video of my favorite audiobooks. So I recently have started doing a series of audiobook reviews on my channel and a lot of you guys commented to let me know that you would love to hear what my favorite audiobooks like of all time are and I have a list of six, my absolute favorites. There are a ton of audiobooks that I have appreciated, there are a ton of audiobooks that I thought were absolute trash, but I have six that I love so much and I would highly recommend listening to these versions. So the first one is going to be a nonfiction book. It is Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. Jenny Lawson is a very popular blogger. This one really focuses on her mental health. She talks about how she balances her mental health with her career and with her family. She talks about her medications and times that she's had really low points and times that she's had really high points and it's just a really great look into mental illness and I really appreciated it. As for the audiobook, Jenny Lawson does read this one herself. Hearing her tell these stories and laugh at herself and get emotional at the parts that were really hard for her to live through and to read back. I just really enjoyed listening to this one and it was really full of personality and full of life and full of realness. So if you like listening to memoirs that are read by the author, this is one that I would definitely recommend. I really enjoy listening to this one. The next series that I want to talk about is the Inheritance series by Christopher Paolini. And this is a young adult fantasy about dragons and dragon riders and a young boy that has been called to be the next great hero in this land. And all four of the books that are in this series are narrated by the same person. They are narrated by Gerard Doyle. I do I did read the first book in the print format and I struggled getting into it, but it was a story that I wanted to know more about because my husband loves it so much and it's like his favorite book series, so I wanted to continue the series and see like what he loved about it. Since I had struggled through the print versions of it, I decided to pick up the audiobooks and I listened to books two, three, and four on audio. The audio format is something that took a series that I was kind of bored with and it really invigorated me and made me really interested in the story. So that's why I really love these audiobooks so much. Something that made me laugh and I kind of roll my eyes at it is that he does the voices for the dragons in this series in a really weird way. It sounds like Christian Bell's Batman met Yoda. The first book that I listened to, I was like, what on earth is he doing? But then as the series went on, I got used to it and I was like, you know what? A dragon would sound like that because they're like full of fire and they're tough and they're huge and of course a dragon would sound like that, but it is something that is kind of hard to get used to. I really enjoyed those audiobooks and I loved Safira and hearing her talk and it really did suit her, so that's fine. The next audiobooks that are some of my favorites is another full series. It is the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. It's very popular, so I'm sure you know what it's about. It's high fantasy. It's about a kingdom where multiple people think that they have the right to the throne. So it's like this war and then there are these paranormal elements, like there are these ice zombies. There are different types of magic in the world. There are dragons in the world. This is another series where I read the first book in the print format and then I listened to books two, three, four, and five via the audio and I enjoyed both formats honestly. It was just that these books are very, very long and very intimidating and audio is a format that really helps me get through long and intimidating books. All five of them are narrated by the same person again. They are narrated by Roy Dotrice and he actually has like a Guinness world record of having voiced the most different variety of characters in any audiobook ever. These are some of the first audiobooks that I ever like seriously got into so honestly I didn't really notice how his voicing was. I guess I enjoyed it because I wanted to keep listening to all the books in the series. The only thing that I do remember thinking back two years ago when I listened to these was it's so very awkward to listen to the sex scenes, but I don't think listening to anybody read those scenes because of the way that they were written would have been better. So I would highly recommend if this is a series that you have been curious about but you're very intimidated by it, definitely try the audiobooks if you are open to that format or if you can because they really helped me get through it and I really found them very enjoyable. Next up, I really want to talk about the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater. This is a young adult paranormal series about a group of kids who go on a quest to find the resting place of a dead Welsh king. There are four books in this series and all four of them are narrated by Will Patton. I actually read all four of these books in the print format and then I reread all four of them via audio, so I do have a knowledge of both formats. These are some of my absolute favorite audiobooks for the sound of them. These were music to my ears and I know that a lot of people listen to these and they don't like it at all. They don't like his voice, his narration. You either love it or you hate it and I'm one that absolutely loved it. The tone of his voice is kind of eerie and it's very atmospheric and it just suited the tone of those books 
so well and it really brought them to life. The only thing I would say is that I would probably not recommend jumping into the series for the first time on audio because there is a lot of flowery writing and I feel like you would just be confused. Like that first book is confusing even for people who loved the series right away. If you aren't very used to audiobooks very often it could be even more confusing. That's really just up to your experience and whether or not you love audio, if you pick up a lot of details or not. So it's really up to you but this is absolutely one of my all-time favorite, like this is in my top three now, top three favorite audiobook narration of all time. The next series I want to talk about is the Diviners series by Libba Bray. This is a young adult paranormal series about like demons and ghosts and these characters that have these paranormal abilities where they can like see the future or see the past or change people's minds and they find themselves all working together to solve these different mysteries that are happening and this series is set in the 1920s and the narrator of both books is January Lavoie. The second book is the only one that I listen to but since she also narrates the first book I would take a guess at saying everything I'm about to say about her phenomenal work on book two probably also applies to book one. Since this book is set in the 20s, she does 20s accents, 20s slang. She doesn't even miss a beat and she just brings it to life. There are sections of the book that involve singing. She sings the songs. She makes up her own tune and she sings it. This is a story that is extremely atmospheric and she fits the atmosphere and the tone so very well. I was so blown away. I did not want that book to end because she was just music to my ears. I really enjoyed it. And my favorite audiobooks of all time is another series. It is the Illuminae Files series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. So a lot of people talk about these audiobooks and I'm going to talk about them again because these are my favorites. I read the books first and then I listened to the audiobooks as rereads. So this is a science fiction series and the books themselves are highly formatted. Everything in the story is told through files, through interviews, through emails. You get just a ton of different visual formatting. The second book has more visual formatting because one of the characters is an artist. So the print formats themselves are a work of art and the audio formats are just as much a work of art. Both of the audiobooks were narrated by a full cast of voice actors, probably at least like 20 people involved in each book. There's music, there's background effects in both of these audiobooks. There's a song that is present in book two. They made up the music and they had somebody sing it and they interweave that throughout the book. When there's a fight scene with a bunch of people talking all those voice actors come on and they say all those words at the same time and then you hear like gunshots and explosions and running and screaming and it is an amazing production the only thing is is I would not recommend one format over the other because either way you're gonna miss out on something if you read the books you're not gonna get all those sound effects and stuff if you listen to the audiobooks you're not gonna get the visual effects and the drawings and all that formatting so there really is not one that's better than the other. They are both exceptional formats that suit the story amazingly. All right, so those are my all-time favorite audiobooks. They were such enjoyable experiences for me. If you guys have listened to any of these audiobooks and you have more thoughts on them, we can chat down below. And I would love to hear from all of you what is your favorite audiobook that you've listened to. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the comments. Bye!